Hey there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass again. Today I want to talk to you about another magical item in the garden. Last time it was mulch and the different types and different uses for mulch. And today I want to talk to you about a product called Rime. Now basically what Rime is, is it's a, a fabric. And uh, this actually, this fabric will last a very long time. I, I sometimes find myself using the same pieces of fabric for four or five years. Now I buy very large pieces that are very wide, the eight foot width by 50 foot, and then I cut it to the sizes I like. Now, as you can see, I use the Rime basically to protect my young plants, uh, protecting them from a couple of things, super hot sun, and then as well, protecting them from little critters who want to eat my young, beautiful plants. And so if we take a little look, you can see I just use, I just use rocks to kind of hold down the sides. Let's take a look inside, let's take a peek. So we got some Brussels sprouts over here. And I noticed the critters were kind of getting to some of them, eating a lot of the leaves. And I put this inside of the hoops. These are metal hoops that you can get as well. They're very inexpensive. For certain things that get a little bit taller, it's good to have these hoops. So here are the plants that don't have the hoops on them. Here are the Brussels sprouts. So you can see, I'm gonna have a whole different level of uh, growth. And here's another one, right? And then let's take a look underneath and look over there. So one of the things about Rime that's cool is water will get through it. Um, but of course you can always lift your Rime up and do some watering. You just kind of kind of take some of it up and then you can get under here. So as you can see, it's, it's really easy to kind of lift this stuff up and move it around. Sometimes I'll take it off on a nice hot day, but not too hot. Now sometimes you can just lay the Rime down right on top of plants. I do this especially with plants that are very short and they're not gonna grow too tall. You can see they're pushing up right here. So for example, here are my beets. And those little critters were getting to my beets. So I went ahead and gave them a little cover. They just need a week or so till the leaves get tough enough that the little critters aren't gonna enjoy them. Here's my squash, take a look. You could see what was being done here. This was all little critter damage. Since I put this under the Rime, in the last five days, I've got these beautiful hardy leaves. Now these are gonna get big, right? So I'm gonna have to be careful. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the Rime and push it all the way up to the edge of the plant, securing my rock, so that it has a little bit more room to grow in here without getting compressed. I'm not as worried about that over here with my beets. So as you can see, I'm using Rime in a couple of different ways, using these wonderful metal hoops I highly recommend you get your hands on some of these hoops and some Rime. There's two kinds of Rime. There's a heavy and a light. I tend to use mostly the light type, but in the fall, if you want to plant some lettuce, you actually can use these hoops and Rime and make yourself little greenhouses. All right, so that's it uh, for the Culinary Compass today. Happy gardening and ciao for now.